That thunder probably shook the house. Ever see a flash of lightning and immediately wonder, just how far away was that strike? Is the storm heading right for you or moving away? Guess what? You don't need fancy equipment to figure it out. There's a super easy trick based on simple science that anyone can use. And today, we're going to show you exactly how it works. So, why is there a delay between seeing lightning and hearing thunder in the first place? It all comes down to the huge difference in speed between light and sound. Light travels incredibly fast. So fast that you see the lightning flash almost instantly, no matter how far away it is, relatively speaking. Sound, however, is much slower. Thunder is the sound wave created by that rapidly heated air expanding from the lightning channel. It takes time for that sound wave to travel through the air to reach your ears. Now, if you want a deep dive into exactly how sound works, what sound waves are, and the specifics of its speed in different conditions, which is the science behind this trick, I highly recommend watching our full video on the physics of sound. I've linked it for you right down in the description below. It's fascinating stuff. But for now, let's get to the trick. Here's what you do. Step one, when you see the flash of lightning, start counting. Count the seconds steadily. A good way is one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, and so on. Step two, keep counting until you hear the boom of the thunder associated with that specific flash. Step three, stop counting. Now take the number of seconds you counted. Here's the magic part. For miles, every five seconds you counted equals roughly one mile of distance between you and the lightning strike. Example, 10 seconds equals approximately two miles away. Example, 15 seconds equals approximately three miles away. For kilometers, it's even simpler. Every three seconds you counted equals roughly one kilometer of distance. Example, six seconds equals approximately two kilometers away. Example, nine seconds equals approximately three kilometers away. So if you counted 10 seconds, the lightning was about two miles away, 10 divided by five, or about 3.3 kilometers away, 10 divided by three. Easy, right? But wait, there's more. Want to know if the storm is moving closer or further away? Just repeat the count for the next lightning flash and its thunder. Is the time gap getting shorter? For example, you counted 15 seconds, now you count 10. Uh. Oh. The storm is likely moving towards you. Is the time gap getting longer? For example, you counted 15 seconds, now you count 20. Phew. The storm is likely moving away from you. So there you have it. The super simple way to estimate thunderstorm distance. See the flash? Count the seconds until the boom. Divide by 5 for miles, or by 3 for kilometers. Compare counts to see if it's getting closer. Was this trick helpful? Let us know with a quick thumbs up below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to How Why Tube for more quick science hacks and deep dives into how the world works. And seriously, if you're curious about the why behind this trick, the actual speed of sound, and how it behaves, definitely check out our full physics of sound video, linked in the description. You'll understand this on a whole new level. Did you already know this trick? Or maybe you use a slightly different count? Share your experiences in the comments. Stay safe during storms, stay curious, and thanks for watching How Why Tube. See you in the next video.